Okay, so in this video, we're gonna look at the exact same situation as the last video. 50 year old male funding a policy with the exact same company, 50,000 for seven years and then 20,000 thereafter. The difference is we're only going to focus on the guarantees. So we're gonna completely strip the policy of the dividend. And where this will be interesting, so if you recall on the overview video, you've got your premium and PUA component. And dividend rates are likely going to stay the same or go down over the next 10 years. That's our guess just from speaking with insurance companies. They're concerned about that. So this will show us much more transparency from a conservative overview. What split should I go with? So the dividend surplus is more favorable to premium dollars. The guarantee is the same to both premium and PUA dollars. So we've got the specs, 4060 means a 20K base premium, 1090 means a 5K base premium, exact same funding as the last scenario. Let's dive in. So here we go. Here's our 4060. A lot of similarities here compared to the last video because it's the same policy. 40% base premium, 60% PUA. Guaranteed values. The spreadsheet will uh, show you the break even point since we got to scroll down too far on this one. <laughs> Let's look at the 1090. percent base premium, 90% PUA, it's closer to 889, only because it does cover the term cost as well. But here is where it gets really interesting. Break even point between years six and seven. All right, let's look at the side by side here. Just like all the other videos, 40, 60 on the left. Base premium 20, total outlay 50 for seven years, and then 20 thereafter. Cash value, no dividend column in here because dividends don't exist when I only look at the guarantees. Worst case scenario, it helps me understand how rates are actually credited to base premium and PUA dollars. 1090 split, obviously more upfront, Highlighted in yellow is my break-even point on the guarantees. Okay, let's start to scroll down here. So the 4060 breaks even in year 21. Not attractive at all. You paid in 600, you've got 611. The cash value difference at that point, the 1090, same policy, same individual, same age, same health rating, everything's identical except for the design is different here. Drastic difference. And when you really scroll down, if we look at age 85, $265,000 more than the 1090 split. And this is what I'm looking at the guarantees. So if you wanna say, hey, what's the worst case scenario? I want to play it as conservative as possible and look at the guarantees, just like big banks and corporations do. This is how you do it. So when we hear that the power of the compounding in the base premium, likely, if anyone stated that, they're probably just used to selling old school life insurance policies or looking at illustrations from over the years, where if you look at a basic dividend illustration, that'll look like that's the truth. However, when you look at mechanically how a life insurance policy functions, if you've watched your Boley study, Bullies function a lot like a big PUA payment. The more aggressive we can go with a PUA split, the more money we will, we will have up front and then long term on a guaranteed basis as well. Very important to be aware of this. This way I can see the different numbers and see when I'm taking out a policy or if I'm an agent and I'm trying to maximize cash value for my consumer, this way they don't find something be better anywhere else or a competitor gets in there. This will help us understand how to do this. Do that. Hope that, hope this helps. <laughs> hey guys, Steve Parisi here. If you enjoyed the content you just saw, 
please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. If you'd like more information or to see some custom policies for yourself, feel free to call or email our offices at the contact information below.